Hey Lawn Care Nation. So today I want to talk to you guys about why I love my Xmark uh, Turf Tracer so much. Uh, and in particular this 36 inch model. Um, well it comes down really to two things. The weight of the machine and versatility. Uh, this machine is very very light uh, and it's also the most versatile uh, mower that I've ever used uh, in the 14 years uh, that I've been in business. Uh, I've owned uh, push mowers, I've owned tractors, I've owned zero turn mowers, I've even owned a Walker GHS system, and none of them can match uh, the versatility uh, of this particular machine. Um, you know, right off the bat, uh, you can see um, it can be very, very nimble to use uh, in uh, certain applications, uh, depending on the property and the situations. Um, I can walk behind it as the name implies i can drop that sulky and ride behind it if it's a larger property uh, it'll handle hills i can do flat properties with it um, i can uh, easily bag uh, grass clippings with it uh, or i could uh, you know with the removal of one pin pop the bagger kit off and easily side discharge lawns uh, as well and it all adds uh, to that versatility um, like I said whether it's flat properties or hills and slopes uh, this machine is unmatched uh, on the weight side of it uh, this particular turf tracer here is less than 400 pounds that is uh, almost half of the weight of my 32 inch uh, stand-on mower uh, so even uh, being a bigger uh, 36 inch mower versus the 32 inch standard um, it's still half the weight uh, being a bigger mower than uh, the 32 inch um, the other really nice thing uh, with this mower is uh, the weight uh, distribution on it it's very rear uh, heavy uh, which makes the front of the deck very light uh, and makes things like loading over the crest of your trailer very very simple um, or even just uh, tilting it up by pushing down on the handles to uh, service the blades or clear out the deck. And as you can see, very, very simple uh, to uh, lift up. Even lifting up on the front of it is very, very easy. So that really adds uh, to the versatility of the machine. Uh, the other thing is with these types of mowers that use these bagger kits, these cloth factory style bagger kits. Um, they're very uh, awesome to use, uh, leave a fantastic cut picking up all the clippings. Uh, and uh, they're just a very, very simple system uh, utilizing a couple of pins on the sides. Then the bag opens up. And essentially you have your chute uh, right on the side there, uh, pushing the clippings directly into the bag. So there's no large tube or anything like you'd see on a zero turn rider that uh, tends to get clogged up. Uh, and it requires like a big uh, fan system here to try to blow those clippings up a tube. This is essentially side discharging all the time. Whether uh, you've got no bagger kit on it or whether you put a bagger kit on it, it's still like it's side discharging. The only difference is that it's side discharging straight into the bag. And that's what allows me uh, to even use this machine bagging grass clippings uh, when it's raining here in the Pacific Northwest, uh, because you're essentially just side discharging uh, straight into the bag. And the system is very easy to take on and off. It's this one pin here. You pull that out. And the backing plate comes off with one hand. Put it back on. Put the clip back on and the backing plate is back on there. There you go, bagger kit's back on. So another thing that it lends to its versatility, because if you need to get through a gate like that, you don't have this big 
bagger kit attachment. Super simple, as you saw here, to pull that pin off, take the bagger kit off, drive through a gate, put it back on, takes no time at all. So just super, super awesome machines, uh, and I would recommend them uh, to anybody uh, in uh, or that has a commercial uh, lawn care business. Uh, you know, in addition to using uh, Salty on the back, like this uh, Jungle Gym's accessory products, Jungle Wheels, just makes it super, super easy. And that can be uh, stowed away quite easily if you want to walk behind the mower uh, or ride it. So as you can see, super, super simple to use uh, the Salty attachment as well. And uh, makes it a, a winning combination. You can see how nice and smooth it is to ride uh, behind uh, the walk behind on the salty uh, on these uh, much larger properties and uh, it just leaves a great cut like I said just a really just a really nice smooth looking cut now to those of you that uh, comment and say that the turf tracer doesn't stripe I don't know about you but those aren't polka dots now one of the other things that makes uh, the turf tracer so versatile uh, like I said uh, is that weight and the way I have it set up here, uh, it's almost the perfect mower for mowing in the Pacific Northwest. Like I said, uh, you know, I can have that bagger kit off and side discharge on large properties like this, and it does a fantastic job. I can uh, put that bagger kit on and, uh, you know, use that to collect clippings on uh, more uh, manicured lawns uh, like some of the residentials I do. Uh, you know, and again, just leaves a fantastic cut. Uh, here in the Pacific Northwest with all the rain, uh, that versatility in this setup gives you tons of options. Like I said, uh, for the most part, you can ride that sulky and save the fatigue of always walking, uh, but you have that option to lift that sulky and walk behind it if things start to get uh, soggy in the ground. Now, what I found most times is with the weight of this machine, uh, that it doesn't have nearly the amount of issues uh, that say a stand-on mower does or uh, something like the walker or a sit-down zero turn does uh, because again it's only uh, you know sub 400 pounds for the machine itself and when you're operating it even with the sulky your weight isn't directly on top of the machine it's on the sulky uh, so that keeps that weight uh, more to a minimum of course you know if you're in my case and you're bagging then you gotta uh, you know watch the weight of that bag as well uh, but for the most part uh, you know it does a great job and I've never ever uh, gotten stuck with this machine where I've gotten stuck plenty of times with other machines uh, the minute this starts to show any sort of uh, losing traction or anything like that um, I can put that sulky up and just walk behind it and uh, that lessens the load on the hydros makes it uh, easier to move uh, and uh, you know floats the mower a lot easier than having a, a basically like a trailer load uh, that it's uh, towing behind uh, so like I said just so much versatility uh, in these machines uh, and is why another thing about these uh, X marks that makes them so good is uh, their construction their durability uh, this thing is a tank 
uh, and yet, like I said, it's under that 400 pound mark. Uh, this model here, uh, I bought used uh, about three years ago. Uh, it's a 2009 model and it's still going strong. Uh, Lord knows how many hours are actually on this machine. Um, you know, probably a ton. You can see a lot of wear on it uh, from the years, the paint, uh, you know, off the front of the deck there coming off. And um, it's a really well used machine. It's got that uh, Kawasaki FH430V 15 horse. Uh, just a rock solid motor. It's smooth sounding. It's super easy to start uh, with the uh, uh, pull cord there. Uh, just a fantastic machine overall. Uh, you know, at first uh, with these ECS controls, this was my biggest um, uh, bone to pick with this machine was this enhanced control system. Uh, it was very, very complicated to learn this system um, if you've never used one of these mowers before. Uh, in fact, uh, this mower uh, was probably the one with the largest learning curve I've ever had. It took me a good six months to get comfortable using this machine. Uh, and at first, the first few years, if, even if you look at my social media, my Instagram and stuff, when I've posted pictures about it, um, I've talked about um, how I didn't like the controls at first. Um, that it was just very complicated, it was cumbersome, it was hard to maneuver, but I kept with it, uh, knowing that um, it would only get better over time. And, um, you know, that's proven to be true. These controls have become uh, an extension of myself uh, when I'm using this machine. I've become so proficient with it. Um, like I said, being able to mow uh, flat lawns like this, being able to mow like hills and slopes and berms like that over there. Uh, it just becomes, uh, you know, a very, very uh, easy machine. Because the uh, sulky as well uh, moves independently from the mower, when you're doing those uh, hills and berms, you can notice here that the sulky actually uh, has a pivot uh, point right here. And not only does it go side to side, uh, but it can also swivel itself. So when you're on those uh, hills and berms, uh, you can position your body a lot better uh, to get that traction you need uh, because you're independent from the machine. Whereas on a stand on mower, you're directly standing on the machine. So if you're on an angle, your whole body's on an angle as well. Um, so it's a lot easier uh, on hills uh, with this type of a machine. So the other thing about these uh, ECS controls uh, that I uh, really, really love is that they're actually less fatiguing to use than say a stand on mower. Uh, and that's because you don't have to actually squeeze uh, the levers all the time. You only need to squeeze either the left or right uh, when you want to turn. The only thing you need to do is keep the operator presence controls uh, pressed down. And you can either do that by holding on or just resting uh, your palms uh, on the bars and you're gonna go straight. On a stand-on machine, you're uh, squeezing the levers and you have to always have them squeezed to maintain your speed. And what tends to happen is if you're going over a bumpy lawn, you tend to be uh, squeezing the levers at different rates and speeding up and slowing down. And that can really uh, create uh, you know, an uncomfortable ride. Uh, with these, uh, even if you're on a rough lawn and it's bumpy, you know, you can just be holding on and uh, you're not worrying about the speed control because the speed is controlled uh, by the separate lever here that you kind of set uh, once you uh, figure out the speed you want and you're going. So uh, it's actually a lot less fatiguing on your hands once you get used to this uh, because like I said, you're only squeezing levers uh, to turn left and right. The rest of the time when you're doing those straight runs, uh, you can actually have your hands uh, or just your palms uh, resting. And that's uh, what I'll do a lot of times is uh, I'll just have my palms like that just just enough to uh, keep that operator presence control uh, pressed down and uh, you know you can have one hand on it uh, or the other hand on it and uh, you're maintaining that speed uh, so actually uh, you know in the long run uh, once I really got used to these controls uh, they've now become uh, some of my favorite and I can see uh, just how well thought out uh, these controls are
So there you have it, Lanka Nation. That's why I love my 36 inch Xmark Turf Tracer. Just a fantastic machine and that versatility to be able to mow any sort of type or condition of property uh, just make it uh, unmatched with anything else I've ever used.